for a little medic gameplay. Hi guys, this is Matty Ace, and in today's video I'm going to share some Sten gameplay with you. And the Sten is the default weapon of the Medic class, but you also have this weapon for the Pilot and the Tanker class should you get out of the vehicle. As you can see in the beginning of the video here, this weapon is not all that bad for hip firing. But in my experience I have to say, hip firing in Battlefield 5 is a little bit weak, at least compared to Battlefield 1, that's my experience. And I get that confirmed the more I play a Medic. I'm going to do a lot of comparisons to Battlefield 1 here, since a lot of people have been asking for some beginner guides, and hopefully this video will at least partly serve that purpose. And again, comparing the SMGs of Battlefield 5 with Battlefield 1, I find that uh, the difference is that in Battlefield 1, the SMGs are better for range and worse at close range. Basically, better at aim down sight and worse for hip fire. Now I'm sure that not everyone agrees with that, but uh, since this is my experience, I have also decided to upgrade my weapons for range or for aim down sight more than for hip fire, which of course makes the difference between Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 even bigger. Now there are several SMGs that are very accurate, the Sten is one of them. It doesn't take much control to maintain your aim on target even at uh, longer medium range, but it does take some control. If you fire full auto, you need to move your hand slightly towards you as you keep firing. Otherwise, if you tap fire with, let's say, a burst of 3, burst of 4, the game will do the compensation for you in between each burst whenever you stop firing. Now, personally, I don't recommend more than one time magnification, that's just my experience. But I definitely don't see anything wrong trying it out if you have a little bit of a different playstyle than what you see in this video. So now if you've been playing other Battlefield games and you haven't tried Battlefield 5 yet, then one of the things that you want to pay attention to if you play the Medic class is that you don't have to bring out the syringe or previously the pads in order to revive. All you need to do is get close enough to a fallen comrade, look at them and hold in E, and the game will do the rest for you. And what happens is that you will trigger this quite controversial animation that puts you on top of the enemy and uh, keeps you there for a short period of time, also making you very exposed to enemy fire. Now one important point I want to make with this video is that a lot of people when they join a game or when they buy a game that's been out for a while uh, can feel a lot of frustration being killed by more experienced players, especially since those more experienced players have access to weapons that you do not have access to yourself, at least not in the beginning. Now, with Battlefield, it's very common that uh, the starter weapons for at least some classes is one of the best weapons. Now, in my opinion, that's been the case in the past, and in Battlefield 5, a lot of people consider the best weapon for the assault class being the starter weapon, the Stormgiver. And uh, whether or not people think that the Sten is one of or the best weapon for the medic class, I don't know, I don't think so. Personally, I've uh, been using the Somi a lot more than this weapon, but as you can see, this SMG is actually pretty good. Now, of course, I need to be Captain Obvious and say that when you play the medic class, you really need to take advantage of the self-healing. Now, unlike with the other classes where you have one heal, then you have to resupply it, as a medic, the numbers are unlimited. So yeah, I did mention upgrades a little bit earlier, and they do play a big part no matter what weapon you use actually, at least that's my experience. And uh, with the stand with any starter weapon, you start with a weapon that is already fully upgraded. However, you may not like all the upgrades that you have in the beginning, so it might be worth checking them out. And if you feel like it, you might want to change some of them. I'll show you how that works in just a moment. What's also worth noticing is that if you really want to finish an assignment, it might be worth changing the upgrades based on that. I mean, I've finished the assignments on some of the weapons. Normally what I do is that I just uh, add an assignment and then I just play normally. For the most part, I finish an assignment without really changing my playstyle, but every once in a while I actually have to do that. So yeah, you find your weapon specializations in the armor section of the game. And here, I'm not entirely sure if this is actually the default ones that I have here, but looking at them now again, I decided to make one change, and that is to the very first upgrade. And the way it works is that, of course, you reset all the upgrades and you redo them. Now, if I feel that I'm struggling a little bit with finishing an assignment that is based on hipfire, for example, I, I, I know it was a little bit problematic with the Somi, what I would do is that I would go for different upgrades than the ones that you see me using here and the ones that I will change to in just a moment. 
As you can see, the level 2 and level 3 upgrades are about improved hip fire, so there are situations where those upgrades would of course be better. Based on my normal playstyle, however, and what you see in this video, I believe that the best upgrades for me would be if I only choose the ones that are on the right side. But important to understand is that even if you just got the game yesterday, when it comes to the default weapon you can make these changes even before you have your first kill with it. And no, it's not gonna cost you anything of your in-game currency. Now look at the accuracy of this weapon when I get the first kill here. I can only see a small part of the body of the enemy, and to be fair I only had to deal about 40% damage before he went down, but you certainly have more range with the SMGs in Battlefield 5 than in Battlefield 1. So yeah, I'm not sure that I will be finished with the assignments by the time that you can watch this video, otherwise of course you can check out more stand gameplay if you check out my stream. The video will continue for another 6 or 7 minutes or so, I hope you will enjoy it. Yeah. My name is Matthias, and I want to thank you all for watching. I'm trying to baptize you. Oh, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. The water's just gonna pour off me like a goose, like a goose, you know? Yeah. <laughs> There's one, if you're close, there's one on my body, close to my body. Oh, I... Let's go A my friends, let's do it! Nice roll!
There we go, objective taken. Oh, he doesn't want more first aid. This objective must be defended. Soldiers, objective Baker has been lost. Captain the objective, soldiers. Come with me, my friends. No, 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 don't shoot me. We have an issue over there. I'm a bit, yeah, that's what I thought. No! 